I've been here for seven months now. In the past, I've used a streaming current monitor. I wanted to use that technology here for the first time. And the first week I was here is when I reached out to get a chem track. Uh, got approved, no problem, once I showed them uh, the financials of how much we was overfeeding. When you're throwing away $12,000 a year because you're overfeeding a chemical, it's common sense. You've got to optimize in every way you possibly can. And so within one week, we were already going in a different direction. Uh, Trepidity can vary in a river. We could be going from a 6 NTU to a, a 3000 NTU. When that happens, we have got to stay on top of it. If we do not, we go out of regs. We're sending not the best water to our communities. That's not acceptable. That's not how we operate. It's easy to close your mind and say, we're good. We did it like this back in the day, we're, we're, we're fine. The greatest thing about the streaming current is I automatically know when it's time to adjust my chemical. People who are not in this industry will never understand it, but every operator in the United States, they understand how crucial that five minutes can be. When that mud's coming in, you don't know. But with the ChemTrack and that streaming current monitor, it literally can save you within five minutes. We have to do whatever it takes for our community. They deserve the highest quality of water possible. So an employee called me the other night and we was just talking about the operations of how our plant has come from this to that. And the very first thing he said is, the stream and current value is what saves us. How did we do this before? And you know, we have to step back and say, yes, it's awesome technology. We didn't always have this, so we had to do it the old school way, jar testing, going right at it. But having that stream and current monitor honestly puts me at ease at night. I know my guys and gals can take care of it no matter what because that value is right there.